we should have like a, a secret word of the dive that if someone says it in the chat, we ring like a little bell. They win in a they win a like a, a glory award, you know, like a yeah, what, what's what's pride a code award. of the watch or what's a word of the watch? But we can't talk about it. Well, <laughs> we have to like establish it once at least, mm -hmm. no? Maybe right at the start. Yeah, next next dive will do it. Or next watch. Actually, I think you should decide what it is. Oh, I will. Anybody on watch says it. Oh, yeah, so I don't tell you guys? Yeah. Okay. I'll oh, do it. Oh, it's like the secret word, and then a duck comes down and gives you $100. Yeah. The duck comes <laughs> The duck? Comes down? The, duck? <laughs> the Marx what? Brothers? The duck? <sighs> Dated cultural <laughs> reference, Rob. <I> know. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's old guy watch stuff. Man. <laughs> I think the secret phrase should be broken pillows. <laughs> Rob laid that one on us a while back. Broken pillows sounds like a country song. <laughs> it's got a double entendre thing too going. Broken pillows, Taylor's J version. Jason in the chat said the word should be shrimp, but I, I don't know. I say shrimp a lot. It's too easy. It's too easy. There's too many shrimp. Plus we're doing the shrimp tally. That's easier than bubble or 15 delta <laughs> we've actually seen 20 this this dive so we're a bit behind on the whiteboard do the other watches keep tally as well i think so yeah i think that tally is from the other watches oh. here's another one do we have like a team name for our watch not yet Ooh. Chat, if you have any suggestions, throw them in. Oh, that's... Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, we're crowdsourcing <laughs> from the internet. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Watching usually, with watch face. There's usually, <laughs> <laughs> there's usually a defining moment. <laughs> Last watch, they were saying, like, dad joke watch, but I, I wasn't a fan of that one. That's because Rob and I have that cornered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, last last expedition, we were uh, probably my fault. We were called, you're still muted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You have been muted quite a few times on this watch. I'm getting much better this cruise. Yeah, I was on the uh, let's go watch. <laughs> I was on the chaos team. Chaos <laughs> team? What were you guys yeah. doing? Oh my god, it's just hard to describe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, team Octo, I was on Team Octo because we saw a couple of octopus. That's on cool. Watch. That was one called Hard No. Hard No. <laughs> <laughs> nope. No. Nope. <laughs> Can we sample this? No. <laughs> hard pass. Okay. <laughs> what about professional watch? This is this is the professional sponge watch. <laughs> really nice lava tubes here. Someone said Trevor beat me to watch you make watch face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crowdsource naming. Gotta love it. Team Lurch and Urchin. Oh. Ooh. Call back to the first dive. Yeah, thanks for remembering our well done. Trevor's puns from the first dive. Well, it was in the highlight reel. Uh, yeah, but they didn't know it was him unless they know his voice by heart. Uh, and there are people that do. The diehard Trevor fans on the internet. <laughs> so I wonder who has more followers, Trevor or Science Steve? Ooh, we should battle it off. If there's a tie, I'll follow Steve, so he wins. <laughs> Does Trevor have a nickname, though? Guess not. <laughs> <laughs> Crickets. I can't say it on SPL. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> also, I don't have one. That's cut. That's why you can't say it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Is this another, another one. Oh yeah, yeah that one's moving. Oh. oh. We've been blessed. Was that? Ooh. Oh, a fish? Just settled in. Or yeah, it's the chocolate. Oh, another oh, Is it the same one or a different one? 
I don't know. Did you know a chanakops is also called a sea toad? Yeah, or a coffin fish. Oh, that's a bit dark. Mm -hmm. I like it. Does it have a cold if it's coffin? No, <laughs> but I'm, no, like coffin like. Maybe that's Trevor's nickname. Coffin fish? Coffin fish. Sea toad. <laughs> sea toad? <laughs> Hey, buddy. Oh, oh swimming. Oh, look at this smile. That's so cute. cool. On the, the, um, Cinema Cam. Cinema Cam, it's, that's a good view of it, too. This is double. Kind of looks like those bouncy balls you get from the dollar store. It those stress does, balls that yeah. you can squeeze. Yeah. Or those, um, those, like, clear plastic balls that have, like, the, the, the spikes, the spines the on them. Mm -hmm. That's the exactly what I'm incredible. thinking of. Is that what those are, those little... Yeah, it's like a thing cover. They have to be... Uh, I don't think they're tattoos. Might be, yeah. Ooh, mouth open. So Chana Stephanie. Cops is a Stephanie tattoo. Yeah, with... Yeah. Can, we can we call this place Chana Cops Town Mountain? Oh, Chana Cops Town Mountain for sure. Okay, awesome. Uh, it's got that Mike Tyson thing going. <laughs> the Mike Tyson thing going? <laughs> the tattoos. <laughs> You would totally bite your ear off, too. <laughs> <laughs> Team Chana Cops, anybody? We've only Guess seen not. two. I want to see more. That'll jinx us from seeing any more. Uh, we I'm name ourselves after him. I'm satisfied, though. You got a gauge check coming up? Ooh, gauge check. Gauge check. <laughs> Let me pull up on Delta a bit before we do that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I like that we have another highlight for the Chanakovs. It was swimming in all I, caps. <laughs> my, my thing is I don't know how to spell <laughs> most of the things we're seeing, so I try to avoid <laughs> typing <Yeah>. it. <laughs> Okay, I'll get the spelling and you get the real highlight. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate your understanding. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. There's a, a nice little uh, well, why that name? It's lumber, lumbar. Oh, I see. Trevor, if you can zoom in on this one. Yeah. Trevor, someone in the chat said, oh, we know Trevor, LOL, Jason. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> zoom in, please. Trevor's Terrors. Yeah. Oh, that's a new one. What are you? Bubble the gauge? Oh, I couldn't tell. Is that a this one? Is that a black? Look yeah. This. Right there, if you get that. That one, I can do, it'll be far away, because I don't want to land okay. on the one we okay. just videoed. But, uh, see what I can do for you. Go ahead, Dave, good luck. Is this a C pen? What is this? Is this um, I th it's a black coral. Oh, okay. He got excited for Haisa. Yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah, I think they're usually in, in soft sediment. Oh, okay. There are some rock pens, but yeah. I haven't seen them. What's the other name for that that coral? Black coral, but also. Uh, it's another Bathypathies. Name. Bathypathy. Thank you. Yes. Bathypathies. Bathy, bathy. I, 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 I know I sound impressive, but I saw Steve wrote it in the chat. <laughs> you can take the glory. That's fine. <laughs> I'm going to try and get the backside of this sponge in view on the cinema cam. I don't know if I can make it, but let's see what I can do. And Steve did provide a little interesting tidbit about the Chana Cops. When you look up the etymology, it means a conceited man, hence a dis <laughs> disapproving <laughs> permanent frown. <laughs> T 
energy sponge. This is a Calophacus, Calophacus, I believe. Soon to be confirmed by Steve or <laughs> <laughs> proven wrong. I was right. <laughs> Asuka was sleeping. One point for Moronke. Thank you. <laughs> Also learned yesterday. <laughs> nice, nice shot with cinema cam too. You yeah, retain little, information really well. Bright, I also have notes. Oh, <laughs> um, the no, notes. Oh, too late. Too late, cinema cam driver. Who is driving the cinema cam right now? You. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit hostile. <laughs> Probably Tim. Is it Tim? That was a nice shot. I should probably go the right way. Someone says call Trevor T Toad instead of C Toad. <laughs> I don't want to make him the toady here. <laughs> hey, anyone ever had Toad tea? No. 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 Yeah, neither have I. I don't know. I don't know if it's a thing or not. I just made it up. What was that? A, s a star or some kind? Or a All right. Whoa. Are we getting a little echo here? Yeah, someone's got a speaker on somewhere. Hey, Dave. Someone's got a speaker on somewhere. Thank you. The next steeper area sort of place, if you find a rock that you like. You want to sample it? Do you want yeah. a bulbous one or do you want a rocky, blocky? I want a blocky one if I can. Okay, angular. You rock folks in your angulars. I think we can put a medium-sized one in Foxtrot or any of the uh, other ones. Anything but Echo. Echo is jam-packed. B and D in Starboard are empty as well, but those are smaller ones. All right. What about the one right center, just below the lasers? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Let's try that. That one right centered up there, maybe? Is that blocky enough for you? Yeah, let's do it. It's off your right. Okay. Bubble on craft, please. Roger. Bonk. <laughs> Whoops. You want me to turn down cam on? Down cam? Yeah. Uh, Not down, cam. Down light, light. sure. Wow, uh, yeah. Doesn't really matter. Oh. Going around the starboard side. Good job. Ooh. Don't say it yet, Rob. No, but you're able to move I'm it. That's it the on. important thing. <laughs> Step one, make it loosen. That's got a funky shape. Well, what is happening here? Wow. That'll fit in uh, Bravo or Delta. That'll Ooh. drop very Ooh. well. Oh. <laughs> it's really droppable. Right onto the cinema cam. Yeah, get a nice close up there, and then we can move along. Which one was it? Oh, that one. Hmm. Can he do this without scratching the lens? Only time will tell. Jonathan, if you're watching at home, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Grip locked this time. That's better. All right, let's bring that around the side. Just to double, triple confirm, Bravo or Delta are open on the starboard side? Yes. Okay, you can give me sample salvo, please. No, you can leave the box in, just give me the salvo. Oh. Thank you. Gotcha, sample salvo. Okay, now I'm good for the box. Box time. Oh, that big old rock. Keep going, keep going. I'm gonna go for Delta. Okay. And that's number 35 now. Good. You can close the box. Thank you got you. it. I'm with you, Dita. Thank you, sirs and bams. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Hi, Rob, with all these rock samples, do you cut them all open? Can I have regular uh, the ROV cams? Sample, normally, please? We don't do ROV all of them. But for this one, I think try again. Okay. Just you did it right, but just I'll do it again. A quality control. Let me see. Just see what this one's really work. What do you do with them if you yeah, don't yeah. cut them open? They go into storage and people can use them uh, as, as they would like. Bubble back to port. On the special Thank you. And Actually, uh, leave it on craft for a moment. Oh. I'm doing something different than normal. I haven't quite stowed this yet. Uh, turning the down light off. Sure. Okay, now you can go bubble on torch. Thank you. Roger. Yeah, this is just as I was concerned, it's going to get a little... That was good, that's the action here. I like to see. You got the one hand on the winch, the other hand going for a bubble controller. Perfect. The wincher. Getting all the cross action. Awesome. The other thing you can do if you want is you, we can, once we have a spot to do it, we can put the winch on the other side of you. So you can use your left hand for that and your right hand for everything else if you want. That's just That a, sounds pretty cool. an option. What do we got? Turn these ones off. Uh, that's fine. When are we planning to recover? At 1600. 1600, oh, okay. Yeah. So we still got, got more time? Yeah. Do you want to keep going all the way to the top or do you want to start contouring at some point here? No, I don't think contouring is going to help us here uh, right. for what I'm looking for. So let's just keep hitting these peaks. Okay. See what the uh, biology looks like. And I mean, if there's a place where it looks like the sediment's deeper, we can always try to push core, but uh, that, that'll only be at the very top or that saddle between. Roger. Keep going to the top. Really foreboding looking sponge on the cinema cam. Mm -hmm. It's a little spooky. Yeah, Trevor, uh, note from Steve, I mean, we're ahead of schedule here. Mm -hmm. So if we want to fly a little lower, a little slower, and maybe look for some smaller critters. Cool. Would you like us to slow down the ship speed? Yeah, let's do that. We're, we're ahead of sh schedule. Okay. So cool. we can kind of work our way along and see if there's any sort of. Are you on a point two right now? Yes. Yeah, okay. Go to point one. Point one. Yeah, nice and slow. Low and slow. This is slow. Yeah, Steve said he knows a lot of uh, things on the rocky crevices. Yeah, when we saw that first Trenocops, there was like a an isopod or a worm looking thing that like swam out from behind a rock. Yeah, it looks like it was a um, worm, like worm. a nellid, polychid. I don't know if you get a chance to zoom over on those. Yeah. Look like a couple of more uh, black corals, maybe. <laughs> Why are we interested in black corals? Ooh. They are probably studied, Zoom I in, think, in this area. Mm -hmm. Could be new species, some of them. I'm going to turn off the yeah, it's starboard light. The one on the left is a little different, it's not a branched. Yeah. 
All right. Thank you. Wide, please. Thank you. Look so at the some of the scientists requested a sample yeah. of this black coral. Mm -hmm. Is that possible, pilot? Uh, we can do the next one. Okay. Thank you. Just keep an eye out, and we'll grab the next one. Whoever's in charge of the cinema cam, it's really, really blurry. Cool. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> it's like a tuba. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a tuba. Minute, it's please? not a tuba. <laughs> <laughs> see if we can see what's inside this. This yeah. one is more like the sponges you get up north around Explorer Seamount. Oh. This is the type that we saw all over the place. Is that something in it or is that just a color spot? Say ah. Uh, Sediment. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this sparkles in there too. Beautiful. Decent sparkles. view from bubble as well. Yeah. Sparkles right, like a vampire in the closer. sunlight. Sponges are All really right. beautiful. Thank you. Come wide. Mm. Someone in the chat asked, are you allowed to sample black coral? Yeah. There are scientists that request us specifically to sample the black coral, correct? Yeah, there are scientists uh, studying taxonomy, systematics of black corals, so they are interested in get samples of them. Someone in yep, the chat. There's some of these over here too. Sorry, uh, gotta move again. Some, yeah. Slow down for that sponge. Someone in the chat said that sponge reminded them of a kala lily. If that's how you pronounce that type of lily, but yeah, I can see that. Shrimp. Shrimp count. What is our shrimp count? 21. 21? For the whole dive. Ah. What about the whole cruise? <laughs> oh, I'd have to tally that up at the end of the expedition. Mm. Ronke, did you highlight that sponge that we just saw? Because I forgot to. I put it in observations, but I can definitely highlight it. What do you want for a rating? Um, we could rate it like a four. Okay. And can you put in it, it's not a tuba? Not a tuba. <laughs> Bugle-shaped sponge, not a tuba. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Okay, we're at a great spot if we want to do more sampling. Okay. If, if you see a black coral, I think I'm done for rocks until we get uh, um, the way top. How about these elephants? I don't yeah, see is there one here? Is that there? I was gonna say just coming up center. Oh, okay, uh, it's okay. here. Yeah, there yeah. it is. That's the one. But I don't think. I it's can circle it again if you want. <laughs> yeah, keep, just keep, keep drawing circles. There's a reason this view is not that view for me. Filter out the riffraff over here. <laughs> it's hard because the cinema cam's in front of me, so I see everything on the cinema cam first, and then I can't find it on the Hercules camera. Is that the one we want, that, that little guy? Is that the one you want, right there? I don't think it's the same. No. Okay, then I will move on. Okay. Hey, video, is the light looking all right on Atalanta? It, it got quite dark. Um, I've been exposing for the light pool, and as we come closer, to uh, the bottom, we get awesome. more light reflecting, so to uh, keep adjusting the exposure. Roger. I just wanted to make sure our light didn't go out. Nope. Nice lava tubes here and pillows. But it's like my third priority in doing all this stuff. So. Sorry. 
So I know I keep asking this question about the brittle stars and the, the corals and the associates, but like, I'm just, I'm so fascinated by associates, but Fish. when there's a lot of brittle stars on the coral, like we just saw one that had like mostly brittle star coverage, does that harm them at all? Or? Ooh. Zoom in please. Yeah. I, I don't really know why some species have so many brittle stars and some others there, some few of them. Well, that's a grenadier one, I think. It's got the one with the pointy, pointy thing on the top. I the like fish? Those. Yeah. Do you want me to get the down light? It's on. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. They have a spine that goes straight up. I yeah. Like okay. Those. Thank you. It's small. Are they usually this small? No, not really. Any black corals around here? I, I agree with uh, looking at the cinema cam to find them because it's so low. Yeah. That's a wise maneuver. Just holler if you see them. Shrimp. 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 That's shrimp 22. Yep. Like it or not, I think we're the shrimp watch. <laughs> <laughs> Is that one there? A shrimp? Uh, we got a black lot of, coral. A lot of black tiny coral. little corals that are coming up here, too. Ooh. Any of these looking promising? Yeah, what's that? The one right in the middle of the cinema cam, yeah, maybe? Yeah, there's one up here, too. Maybe. Uh, here go. So the one just off to the right of center? Is that one okay? Oops. Which one do you want? Just above the lasers? Which one do you want? You want this, this one. one? This one. Yeah, cool. Okay. Let's sample it. Bubble on craft, please. Let's go. Bubble on craft. And this is going to go in omega or lambda? Let's put it in lambda. Okay, zoom please. That's a cool one. Okay, full wide. Yeah. And down light on if it's not already? Uh, it's already on. All right. Oh, don't do that. Get in there. Data, what should I do with this? This is 36 and it's a black coral. Okay, you can close slowly. Thank you. Stay in there now. All right. There we go. Cool. Good job. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Okay. Sort of critter we're looking out for the kind of small invertebrates. All right, bubble on porch, please. Roger. Ooh. OK. 
Could that fish that we saw a little while ago be a Cumba SP? Species, I don't know. Uh, I think type grenadier or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that could be it. That's kind of what it looks like. Can you guys zoom on that, or either Come one, either one of those? Yeah. The zoom, or what are you looking for? Yeah, let's just zoom on it, see what it is. Go ahead when you're ready. This is another black coral. Okay, thanks, Kamai. So I don't see any sea pen, rock pen. Is this a black coral dead center? No. What is it? Ah, yes. Zoom in, please. Were we expecting to see sea pens? I'm just looking for rock pens. Yeah. Rock pens? Are they different than sea pens? Or are they a type of? Yeah, what's this thing here? They are a type of sea pens. Okay. Okay, thank you. I guess the three hour mark is when we all get tired of talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are moving a little slower too. Yeah. So there's some really nice rocks here. Beautiful rocks. Good looking rocks. Basalt? That's what it is. We're still the basalts. Manganese crusted? And crusted. Boitreoidal? That's their texture. Wow, we're learning so much about geology. Geographical? Geography. <laughs> geography. <laughs> That's what our, we could be the, the geographers. Geographer. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll have to remind me of my embarrassment every time we say the name of our watch. All well, the humors of the repetition, remember that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite watch name yet. Did you know that? The humors of the repetition. The humors and the repetition. Yeah, the humors and the repetition. The Slow shame down. is in the repetition. I don't think it was, I think it was a good mix up. There's mix up words all the time. I think that was a really good one. No, it was, I'll agree. Doesn't mean I'm not embarrassed still. <laughs> I 
I thought we had a floaty thing in the camera, but I think it's a folly thing. It was falling, not floating. My AP chemistry teacher once made a graph of like, sort of how funny a joke is based on how many times that you tell it to someone. Mm -hmm. And it starts out as funny and then it becomes very much like not funny for a while. And then he hits uh, what he likes to call the point of delirium, <laughs> <laughs> where it starts being funny again. That's important to know. Yeah. I don't, I don't remember that graph in my AP chemistry class. <laughs> <laughs> Someone in the chat's messing with us. They said, amazing rocks. Wait, what are those green dots again? LOL. <laughs> those green dots are 10 centimeters apart, and we use them to measure. The, the size of rocks. The size of rocks, and anything else. These gray rocks are 10 centimeters apart. <laughs> <laughs> and we they're moving. Them. We use them to measure our lasers. <laughs> Tell I'm seeing something in the Atalanta cam that's like sort of on the port side a little bit. Is it a shadow of a tether? Uh, yeah, it might be the tether again. <laughs> what could it be? Oh, we had a little floaty for a second there. A floaty or a folly? Uh. <laughs> a drifty. A drifty. The elusive tether fish strikes again. We have a, a folly. Uh, on the cinema cam, is that a... There it is, Ooh, yeah, that's, that's, that's what, what was I was it? talking about. The, cri the critter, I don't know it what it is. Pen, it was like pen towards pen the, the left. It's, the it's in the middle of the cinema cam now and it's still falling. Oh, it's falling. It looks like a spider. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, there it is again there it in is. the cinema cam. What is oh. it? Oh, Ooh. bonk. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very funny thing to say. <laughs> What's funny to say? <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. Primnoids <laughs> here. I don't like it. Small ones. Primnoids, sorry. What's this shadow? Fish? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, feisty fish. Ooh, feisty fish. Hello. Ooh, very Hello, feisty. Buddy. Is Where that another going, cusky? Buddy? Follow that fish. Show me the way. <laughs> oh, I'm pulling Atalanta now. Oh. That's all we get. Bye. It outsmarted us this time. Enjoy your freedom of an untethered life. <laughs> well, now that I'm tethered, oh, let me say that again. Let me. Now that I'm at the end of my leash, maybe I'll sit here for a minute. We can get a DVL reset. Okay. Do you want me to lower the delta or? Uh, when we're this far apart, you can come down, yeah. Okay. There's a nice curl off there. Let me just, saw, give you a little more room. We just saw a brittle star fall. I'm going to be about yeah. in the cinema cam. About 20-ish when I'm underneath, and then like, I don't know, 12 to 15 or so when I'm up front. Cool, cool. Roger that. There we go. Great view of the tether. Mm -hmm. What do you think? You happy? No, not yet. <laughs> yeah, it's Are you truly happy? <laughs> okay, yeah, I think I would. I'll, I'll manage this. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Next time we do that, I should show you what happens if I'm still in auto XY when you do that. We'll watch the video. Oh, okay. See if we remember. Okay. Because we've been talking about it, so it's all good, but uh, I think you were warned about not doing that without, like, talking first. Because if I'm in this auto XY and you reset it, then I oh, shoot I off into oblivion. Nice. I saw oh. something circle. Do we yep. want to look at it? Yeah, Paula's muted. Okay. We can zoom in on this thing, please. Oh. A neat spongy thing. What is that? Oh, 
Oops, sorry. Is there a little is that squat there? Squat in there? Yeah, I think so. We think yeah, there's a squat. But it's gonna escape, right? It's in its Look, sponge this is a um, Unidopsis yeah, species. So it's inside of the sponge. You wanna try it? Um, if it I'll try it if you want. I put that at higher chances of success than the coral. Okay. Yeah. Okay, come wide, please. If we can try, I'll yeah. be very happy. Give it a try. All right, everybody, fingers crossed. Pajamas inside out. Mm -hmm. Craft. Cross Down light on. Cross your craft. Let's cross your pincers. <laughs> cross your pincers. <laughs> Bubble the craft. Uh, Down light on. Thank you. Wonderful. I'm learning. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So all the Munidopsis species are new records Oops. for this area. Where are we going to put this one? I'd like to put it in the front as well, if okay. we're okay with that. But is, is that okay, Science Row? Yeah. Do you like it in Lambda or Omega? Let's... I was like, that is me, isn't it? Let's go with Lambda. Lambda. L -l 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 Lambda. Uh, <laughs> what am I doing? If these swim away, we almost need like a butterfly net for these things. Okay, let's see if this... Are you going to like squirt it out of the tube? <laughs> you got to put your other okay. claw over top of it. Can you please... Like, actually, maybe no, it won't even kidding. know anything's happening. Uh, have I already done that? And I got to do this. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, you can open the box, please. Open in the box. A little more. Is this still like there? Yes. Yes, it's okay. here. My best grab, but we'll make do. You know what I'm going to do? So I might re-snip off some so it actually fits. Yep. Okay. Beautiful. Yay. Yay. Monster yeah. secured. <laughs> as far as we it. know. Oh, I shouldn't say anything. And they said oh, we wouldn't get squat. Oh, we got it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there we, we got it. Got it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, Lisa? this is a squat lobster inside of a wisteria <laughs> glass sponge. I'm still laughing at Rob's dad joke. <laughs> squat oh, lobster good. inside what? A wisteria. So Wal Walteria. Can you spell that? Walteria. W-A-L-T-E-R-I-A. Oh, okay, so now can oh. we well, never open the porch again? Wisteria yeah. is a type of flower. <laughs> and the squad lobster is um, yeah, Munidopsis. Yeah. I noted that on the data. <laughs> we, have, we have a victory dance going on back here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> we got some lobster squats going on. Oh, lobster <laughs> squats. Raise those pincers in the air. <laughs> like you just don't care. Like you just don't care. Look at this big old hold fast. Yeah. Nothing around that could have made it. Where'd you go, buddy? You think something ate it? No, he just fell off. I was trying to rhyme with oh, made okay, it. Okay, <laughs> I see. I'm not attuned yet. Someone asks, is it a Walteria sponge partially covered by hydroids? Question mark. Uh, I, I didn't, I didn't see, but they could be partially covered. Could be. I'm just oh. curious. Can we just look at these? Are these baby yeah, whale bones? <gasps> baby oh whale bones. Can we have a zoom in here, please? What baby as in baby like here? newborn or baby as in small? Uh, uh, are they whale bones or are they? Should we poke it with a stick? You should probably poke it with a stick. Poke it with a stick. They look, I don't know, they look bony to me. Look in the, they're in the Perfect. cinema camera. Nicely. There's manganese on them. Yeah. Yeah. Can you come wide, please? Do you want us to poke? Yeah. 
he says fossilized beak whale skulls. Oh, Ooh. upper jawbone. Yep. Okay, bubble on craft, please. Thank you. Down leg? Uh, if you want. I'm going to put it on the starboard side. If we, are we sampling or just poking? Yes, let's get these. Oh, both I mean, of them? Can somehow. we fit them? Yeah, I don't know if we can keep them on the porch or something like that. I well, don't I think know. they'll fit in the starboard side. I don't know that they'll fit in the starboard well, side, but I think these, that they'll fit in the These things are always cool to have. Are they fragile? Oh, uh, they're way bigger than I thought they, they were. They might be Italian. <laughs> oh wow, look at that. Hmm. Going in for the double grab. Oh, the double grab. I think so, might as well try for it. Whoop. Oh, a little wormy on the cinema cam. Yeah, Fighting for its life. Uh, Can I get both? It's like collecting firewood. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's from Woody Debris. Manganese crusted firewood. Has been here. <laughs> Come on. This both. is bony debris. Bony debris. We have a third brother. <clears throat> so, that's probably just too long to fit in the starboard bio box, but it might just go. Can I try it? It'll probably fit in, in uh, Foxtrot. Yep. We're it's good on. for that. Okay. Yeah. Please get tray. sample salvo. Sample salvo, gotcha. Did you tell what, yeah, what should I name these? This is a fossilized whale bone. We'll go with that. It's a thing for sure. Okay, <laughs> we can do, uh, uh, I'm gonna turn on the light, and then we can do, ah, bright. Box out, please. Box out. This might be. Let's go box in a bit. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Good there. Ooh. That's gonna be big. We're playing Tetris in here. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, Ooh. Maybe. Ooh. oh. it just fit. Yeah, almost. Not yet. Just fit almost. <laughs> all the way. If we didn't have that scoop in there. That pesky scoop for those silly nodules, eh? For, mm. for Rob's beloved nuggets. <laughs> Come on, you little rascal. Might have to just take one. I'm gonna try to refit it. Maybe this way. Yeah. Push, force, bend, break. Ooh. And that, that might fit. I feel like it's not sticking up any more than okay, the other rock is. Sample tray in. Moment of truth. No. Here, back out a sec. I might be able to hold it down. Okay, stop there. All right. We got this. Uh, come up on Delta, please. Uh, coming up on Delta. Hello. Up to like 19 on Delta. Okay, you can sample tray in now. Okay. Nice job. Wonderful. Right. ROV team for the win. You're amazing, guys. Yeah. Double whale bone. Double whale bone. And Maronki's records holds and dive whale cellar, parts. Oh, yeah, you're exactly. the, you're <laughs> the that whale part person. person. You're welcome. Go. <laughs> 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 now, so we set a beaked whale. Fossil. We still, that means, fossil means they were old, they died keep a while ago. Up on Delta, because I'm going to keep coming up pretty okay. quick. But we still have beaked whales swimming around today, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Shrimp? Yeah, I'm coming always up on Delta? uncertain yeah. of the term fossil. What would, what do you well, mean? Well, typically a fossil is supposed to be hey. mineralo mineralogically replaced from its original form, but these probably are still the original. 
material that has been replaced by silica or anything. That's, but these are still crusted in the manganese, yeah. so they've been there for a while. Yeah, so I mean, it's just like a, an old old bone. That, an old bone. Uh, that got encrusted, so. Good find, whoever's eyes saw that. I don't remember. These are nice pillow lavas here. Lava tubes interconnected. Yep. Primnoid there, a couple of them. Yeah, and this local topography, it's like a couple of meters, all of a sudden everything's on it. Mm -hmm. There's a fish in the cinema cam. Fish. That's a small thing. You can zoom as you see fit. Mm -hmm. No, oh, it is a fish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, it is that little. Same one with the little Kunda hat. thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Roger. Is this a grenadier? I think it's that the type of she looked it up. It looked like something called Kumba. Sorry, I'm pretty unstable. Species. Kumba sp. Someone, Jason in the chat told us before. It might be. Yes, it as we're stretched out on delta, and as the vehicle gets as Atlanta gets over top, we want to come up. Oh, the ones I see are usually much bigger. All right. ROV team, how long is the craft arm? How long is it? Mm -hmm. About four minutes. Was that the least useful answer I could have given you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. You mean at full extension, what's its reach? Yeah, I, I guess. I don't know. I think mm. we have the same coral we just collected, just in case we, ha we want to have a shot. Yeah, just look at it. Azuma? Go ahead, yeah. Zumba. Zumba. <laughs> oh yeah, that one because we it was a branched one that we got. Mm -hmm. Oh, there go the. And there's an unbranched stars. one. There's a cool sponge behind these corals too. Another Walcheria. Mm -hmm. The sponges are right, uh, full wide, of associates always. Ooh, it's getting Some spin ooh. in the mouse there. Bye, friend. Bye -bye. See you later. Whoever spun the mouse in the cinema cam knocked all the brittle stars off. <laughs> That's he's, what it looked like, didn't it? He's going out to get pizza, I think. Yep. Oh, Jamie. Our Jamie is asking what the view on channel three is. It's our cinema cam. Do you guys want to explain the cinema cam? Who, who, does who want to? You. Me? Yes, because uh, you did or, last Or Dave, time. does Dave do the or cinema Dave. cam? I don't do much with the cinema cam. It just uh, rides along. Uh, well, you guys can, ex say. one of you it's can a, explain. It's a higher this. resolution camera. It's mounted low on the uh, uh, front porch. Uh, it's an experiment. Ooh. Uh, we've got three new cameras that we'll be experimenting with later on in the season. Uh, they can be set up with uh, two of them uh, in a stereo pair uh, so that you can get three. TJ's in the winch. I'll stop. No, oh, you're fine. You're fine. He's not inside the cage. He's sticking his hand in there. Yeah, he's 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 not going in there. You're all good. Okay. Uh, he knows better. Right now, we've got just the one camera Making on. Making me nervous. And uh, yeah, it's all good. We're experimenting with. It. Those green cage walls are so that you can't put your hand in anywhere grabby, even if you wanted to. You have to climb in. Roger that. But good catch. Good to notice that stuff, and you know, if you're not sure, ask. That was awesome. It's exactly the right thing to do. 
when in doubt, all stop. Let's talk about it. Yeah. I realize bound of pillow lavas and pillow tubes here. What's yeah. that? What's what's that this? Pink thing? What do we have in here? That be fine. What do these anemones eat? Food. Zoom in, <laughs> Zoom in on the food eater. <laughs> Marine snow, probably, right? And yeah, some of them that are, gets are close. predators, but most of them suspensivorous. The sun enemy's got a thick base. It's beautiful. Thick base. Yeah. Beautiful. Sun eye. Another outdated cultural reference. It could be an actinostolidae or a hornetidae. A worms. Oh, there's a shrimp. Shrimp. Little wiggly guy in the cinema can. What are the wiggly guys called? Like little worm guys? Mouse cursor. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. A tether. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I don't see the tether in the cinema cam. No, Goodness that gracious. would be not good. <laughs> The, the moonscape down yes. here makes you just want to get out and start running around on them. I kind of agree with you there. Yeah. So Rob, how would you describe this that makes it different from the nuggets? Is it lava flows? Yeah, these are lava flows and lava tubes. Okay. And why are these not as useful as the nuggets for manganese well, gathering? I, I think the nuggets are just little concretions that the manganese is uh, uh, adhered to. These are actually the lava flows coming out. Aren't these also all attached to each other, so we yeah, can't even grab them? They're anastomosing away from each other like this from a probably a common point. Successive layers of flows on top of each other. And Zoom in here, please. That old sponge. <coughs> Just like what we sampled. Oh, yeah. Old but dead. sponge. <laughs> Very uh, dead. Thank Ten you. Better years. All right, thank you. Centuries. <laughs> How old can some of these sponges get? Didn't we read like 200 years or something like that? Or corals? Or, yeah. So long. Yeah, some corals can live 4,000 years. Oh, that one. Yeah, it's another one. There's a nice looking one in the cinema cam. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's in the normal spot camera. Now. right here. Uh, can you zoom in here, please? What do we got? Is it a sea cuke? Oh, oh, good eye. Oh. Ooh. And a shrimp. shrimp. <laughs> Always. Oh. Come on, Hall 3. Dance. Dance. Cool. And you're so mean to the cucumbers. No, you want to make them dance. They, they do it naturally. Poop. It's, it's the, the way they get rid of the, their excrement. <laughs> By, yeah, but you want us to scare it out of them. <laughs> well, it's, it's called scaring the excrement out of them. <laughs> I mean, you would be too if you saw this <laughs> yeah. huge. Yeah. Oh, I like how it's like speckled. That's kind of cool. Oh. That's pretty. I'm gonna highlight this. All right. Thank you. <coughs> yeah, one of the biologists on our last expedition, she was studying holothurians, and uh, we spent a lot of time following holothurians. 
Which is sea cucumbers? Um, sea cucumbers. Can yeah. we yeah. zoom here? We sure can. I mean, she was incredible to spy those things out very quickly. Yeah. I remember watching some dives okay, years ahead, ago Dave. where it was just like Cucumber City. Yeah. You can go all the way. I'll start at the base and work up. Is that a squat lobster? <gasps> yeah. Oh, squat Ooh. lobster. In um, another This volcano. is a very common species, so we don't collect them anymore. Sure. But is that Galapia? That is good. No, it's Unidapsis. Okay. Ooh, this is. There's a shrimp too there. Shrimp, uh, yep. Shrimp. I saw that shrimp. Brittle star. There's another shrimp. Another shrimp, two shrimps. Brittle battle right there. A brittle battle. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I love these sponges. Thank you. Thank you so much. Those sponges are like high rise apartment buildings. Yes. Oh no, bailed out of the penthouse. Was the last squat lobster we collected Immunodopsis as well? Yes, uh, but this is another different species. The name is Munidopsis guchuani. Okay. Is the l the one with the long kila? Yes. Yeah. For those of you at home, Paula is a squat lobster master. <laughs> the queen of squats. <laughs> I believe she's the world's foremost authority. Is that not true? No, I have supervisor. Oh. Um, but uh, I'm getting in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dave, you know what, I, what I'm about to do. Let's uh, zoom I'm in with on you. the base here, please. Yeah, let's I'm with you. Oh, yeah. Actually, you need to get like a bumper sticker, Paula, that says, I know squat. <laughs> All right. Can I come down, can you come down on Delta yeah, a bit, please? Shrimp. Annabelle? Oh, down on Delta, Down on Delta. Please. Thank you. So, interesting little... Is that a shrimp there? Yeah. I couldn't tell. Okay. Oh. All right. That feels good. Probably get that if you pan left. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, after this, we can pan left. There's a... Sorry, a this? dead sponge thing. If, you, if you're done here, you can span, pan left. There's a uh, a sponge that Paula's interested in. I've been doing this. Is this um? Fun. I don't think it's bamboo. Wow, Delta Dan would be impressed. <laughs> that was beautiful. That was Thank great. You. Focus was a little rocky. I was all over the place, so. That's all right. Uh, Here. What are you looking? Just trying to keep there, one. sure, yeah. <coughs> if I don't take the opportunity to practice, I can't get better. All right, zoom in, please. Look, yeah, this look at you. Man, it's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Spiky. Spiky. It's big. Yeah, this could be Minidopsis verde. Ooh. Very cool one. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Big, big claws. <laughs> and how is uh, that species name spelt? I have the genus. B A. I R D I D I. Thank you. Yeah. Let's Coming up on this. Delta. Or do we want to leave it low? This, this good. When we're out stretched out, we can be at you know 12 to 15. Okay. And when we're up top, we want to be around 20. Roger that. A stretched out like this is great. This is the lazy loops we want. Mm -hmm. Paula, do can you differentiate the sexes of squat lobsters? Do they have male, female, and how do you yeah. differentiate them? So uh, ma males have. Gonopods, so if you uh, see under the abdomen, they mm -hmm. have two pleopods, which are appendages from the abdomen, differentiated to uh, like um, sexual appendages. And females usually carry eggs under the abdomen, but if not, they have gonopores mm -hmm. in the um, 
in, in the thorax. Interesting, yeah. Those are neat. Yes, since we're at the top of this, this, this may have been the last bit of eruption that came out of the seamount. Look at this uh, channel, this little slot. Yeah. yeah. I was trying to think of a word to call it. It's probably a better word than channel like or slot. Canyon? Like, canyon's good. Micro canyon? Micro canyon? It's, it looks cool. Gulch. It's in cam, Gulch. Crack. Crack. Fissure. Fissure. Yar, if you're in Iceland. But that's not a yar. Crevasse. Ooh, crevasse. crevasse. Yeah, can oh, you get that rock down, down in there? Yeah, <laughs> I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> oh, there's a cucumber. Yeah. Can you see this? Zoom in on that? Colony? Yeah, totally. Having fun flying that with cinema cam. Oh yeah, I was gonna say on the cinema cam we were basically like flying through the, oh. yeah. Through the channel. Yeah. The okay, channel. zoom in, please. That was a holothurian earlier. That's a nice shot in cinema cam. Just the primnoid. Primnoid with yeah. brittles. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Keep going up this luge run or bobsled run. Mm. This yeah. Is cool. What is this? Like rich. I, I think just a fissure at the last eruption. You know, after everything kind of erupted, it kind of broke apart a little. The sediment, a um, mini gorge, someone. That's the word I was thinking, gorge. Yeah. Gorge it is, is gorgeous. Oh, bonk. <laughs> <laughs> um, the sediment in there is so smooth looking. Yeah. yeah. That is another shrimp? another shrimp. Whose mouse is in the cinema cam? Thank you for that. Shrimp point. Here there is another. Um, Minidopsis species, the same? Yeah. Like this is Squat City. <laughs> Still amazing, we're at the top of the seamount. There's no sediment really at all. No yeah, why is that? I think at the edge of seamounts, the edge of geos, you get some uh, interaction with the tides. Okay. That mm -hmm. causes turbulence, and it just doesn't allow the sediment to settle down. Is it very tidal here? Well, you don't really notice it. I mean, but there's something called the kinetic energy that people have modeled in this area. And I was going to bring that data along, but I didn't. But uh, this area south of Hawaii has a really strong tidal influence. If these you know, depth integrated, I'm not sure at this depth, but I've seen this over and over. So it just seems like it has some sort of uh, high energy on these edges or these peaks. To clarify in the chat, it's not the cinnamon cam, it's the <laughs> cinema cam. Like, going to the cinema, right? Cinema Toast Crunch. Cinema. <laughs> <laughs> Just get a nice close up yeah, of the Yeah, like a close up of the cinema cam. Extreme close up. Yeah, you can really, really get close with it being out there, which yeah. also means you may ever not hit rocks with it, but I'm Ooh. trying to not. Oh, hit rock with the vehicle, though. See ya. Cool, the whole gorge Yeah, just goes over that way. Looks well, like maybe the whole shelf wants to slide off. Could be a part of a, a mass-wasting weakness, too. So ultimately, uh, over time, everything could fall away that's off to the right there. Oh. Check out the view in the Atalanta cam. Mm -hmm. Got this huge thing going on. Ooh. What is this? Yeah, it's a long Big stalk. Wow. Long, long stalk. Is that one of those long bamboo coral things? Those are the ones I was thinking of before. Want to try one to more see. for today, Dave? Yeah, I see nodes in there, too. Go for it, man. Okay. Wow. Okay, let's uh, you don't see nodes. Let's start there. Here he goes. 
bonk. Good start. <laughs> oh, jeepers. <laughs> Let me just... I'm still waiting on the ship, so I can... getting closer to us, Dave. I know, it's a follow focus frenzy here. Yeah. Mm. I'm trying to keep it consistent. Oh, there's a node. Yeah, it looks bamboo-y. Man, I can't find the focus here. How long do you think it is? Well, it's we can like compare it to those lasers. <laughs> 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 I lost my count. <laughs> I don't know. Three meters? Two meters? Two meters, anyway. Uh, Steve says this is um, could be C1 clay keratoisid yeah. bamboo coral. Good job. No, it's All right. pulling up on Delta. Sure, yeah, I didn't see any yeah. nodes in it, so. What it's is that pink thing I at think the bottom? Two meters. Oh, we're gone. Yeah. I think so, too. How many how many K's is the the cinema cam? It's not four K, is it? It's I think it's six. six I think it's a six K camera, yeah. <coughs> Which is an intermediate. Uh, at, and uh, as far as the imager size, I don't know. A little interesting feature yeah. over here. Yeah, this is great. Uh, I just got all this junk out of you. Is this Niskin popping worthy? Yeah, let's pop one. Oh. We have one left, don't we? It's another one we have, have a lot left. left. Yeah. yeah, let's pop one here. Okay, I'll Look set at up that, that cliff in the cinema cam. Cinema. Oh, it almost looks like to the left is a crater the stuff nice. came out of. Bubble on craft? Yes, please. Would the crater be where it was, like, erupting? Yeah, Do that's what the, the material oh, came out of. Got it, but I will oh. soon want. That's uh, fun. Once I get the craft out in this view, I'll want craft on Niskins. So be ready for that. Bubble. Yeah. And on the uh, on the hurt screen, you can change my camera to the port rail camera, please. Uh. <coughs> you can turn off starboard. Right, right. Whatever. That's under cameras. Roger. Yeah. Can you turn off starboard and port light, please? Roger. And then I'll take Niskin's on bubble, please. Roger. Are we going for number four? Number four, yeah. Someone Thank watching you. the the Niskin's cam, please. Tell me when you see it pop. No one was watching. I saw it pop. I, I looked. I saw it pop. I don't me, know man. what the Nis Niskin, Niskin cam is. Me here. If you look at the the second one from all right, bubble uh -huh. on craft, please. You see that there's the ones that have the things Roger. open. Uh huh. Okay. When it pops, I go. Okay. Now I'll know. Yeah, Trevor, if you can kind of scoot along this ridge just yeah. for a little bit. Sure thing. I really wonder if this is the edge of the crater that all these uh, lavas came out of. <coughs> I'll get scooting. Someone said there was a China cop on the, the left, but I don't see anything oh, there was? like that. I don't see it. You want to go along this cliff, you're saying? Yeah, just go along here. Sounds good. Ooh, it's an overhang. Yes, please. <laughs> Are there cool things on overhangs? Mm, oftentimes, yeah. Yeah. Also, if they're big enough, there's potential get the vehicle stuck hazard, which I enjoy. <laughs> we don't need to do that. I know, but I do try. These are gorgeous <laughs> pillows. I'm going to yeah. camera up a bit here. Oh, what's that little circle right in the middle? Is that a hold oh, fast? Hold hold fast, yeah. yeah. You want a quick zoom there? It's a, it's a cute little oasis here. I don't see any interest. 
And if you yeah. zoom in on one of these yellow ones here, or these yeah. yellow, see what those are. For sure. They look slightly different. Let's go on this one up here, please. Go ahead. Venus Flytrap Associates on there too, it looks like. I don't know if that's a Venus Flytrap Associate. All right, come wide, please. What else do we got around here? It's a great view in Atlanta. Yeah. yeah. This is gorgeous. Yeah, so much activity, so much life. <coughs> Look at the underside Look. of it. Look, yeah. there is different species living on one side. And in the yeah, the, these shots are, are high numbers here. So nice, nice highlights here. Oh, speaking of highlight, I'll highlight it. There you go, Annabelle. It's your challenge. Look, who is this? Keep Herc in the middle. Yeah, of the there he is. Got who a squat is it? there. Oh, I'm not doing that anymore. Can you come down on Delta, please? You got a squat with a hangover. Coming down on Delta. And once we're down on Delta, we can zoom in on the squatty. Roger. Go ahead, please. Very white, very pale. Yeah, look at very these. Very pale. Needs some sunlight. Yeah. Which it's not gonna get. Oh, I What's don't know that? which species is. All right, I got uh, two bouncy. Wow. Thank you. Look Thank at you. Mini dapsis, but SP. I like when you saw it, you said, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> That's Frank. The coral, as Steve says, is Ramuligorgia militaris, family Chrysogordida. It's interesting, it's living only underside, in the yeah. underside of the rock. I really think this is a crater. All the lava flowed out the top and the stuff underneath is just the stuff that flowed back in. This is really cool. I'm gonna come up and then come right back down so you can leave the you leave a big delta. Big delta? Or are you sorry, small delta. I said big, I meant small. This is one's straight up. You usually you see these sticking out the side, but this one's straight wow, up. Wow, look top. at that thing. That's really neat. <laughs> Long, tall. Wow. There's another squat there. Wow. Look at it, it's taller than Herc. It's taller than Herc. Wow. I'll put it beside Herc and so you can see it. That's a great shot. You. It's a great shot. The water is so beautiful and clear here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's taller than Herc. Look at that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> it's like okay. half a meter taller than Herc. Yeah, there's another I one there, too. Put it as that's just wow. species. That yellow coral in the middle of the screen is really cool looking. Yeah. It is cool, yeah. That's would you, a primnoid. Would you highlight the uh, Atalanta camera, please? Um, I did. I don't know if it went through. Just amazing. A nice close up of work with wow, stuff. Wow. Cool. <laughs> Look at that. Coming around. Oh, yeah. that's, that's, great. Great. that's that's the way right there. What a great shot. No closer, back away. Ah <laughs> don't knock it over. I'm taking a lot of pictures here, yeah, I agree. but uh, I don't know if... <laughs> I'm just flying off Atalanta view right now. <laughs> it's really weird. I know. It's great, though. Good shot. All right. oh. Amazing. All right. Yeah. Jonathan's going to love that. That's a lot of shots. That's for you, great. Jonathan. 
I just got bamboozled by the tether too, Annabelle. <laughs> bamboozled. Oh, bamboozled. <laughs> <laughs> See what you did there. <laughs> All right. Nice. Things are growing real big up here. Yeah. Okay. And there's your sediment core spot, mm -hmm. isn't it? That's what we're looking for now. I think uh, if we're going to take a sediment core, I'd like to stop the ship because that might take me a minute. Okay, how, how close are we to the other uh, waypoint? Yeah, I mean, yeah. anywhere in the we have time, but anywhere in the saddle, I think, we're, is going to be there. sediment. Yeah, we are just at uh, 1.5 now. So, do you want us to slow the ship? Yeah, yeah well, wherever you want, Trevor, where, whatever you think. Yeah, cool. You can the ship, yeah. Why did I lose sonar? There it goes. Uh, you want me to bring the delta up a bit? Yeah, please. If we were going to see sea pens, this would be the place, but I don't see anything. See sea pens. See sea them in. We're still waiting on Umbalula Town Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> the lasers are now tripping me up in the Adelina cam. You can see yeah. like the dot of the lasers. It's pretty cool. I'm going to plunk myself down right here. You can come down on Delta. All right, coming down on Delta. This is Sun Village. <laughs> it's wild. Here comes the brightness. <laughs> My eyes. The Herc has landed. Mm -hmm. So we have push cores four and five open. Four and five. Those are the aftermost two? Yeah. Okay, cool. Can I get bubble on craft, please? Roger. Let me know if you see any aqua squash footprints here, too. What? Oh, what? <laughs> aqua squash. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Big Fin. Oh. If Big Fin were real, he'd be like a really big uh, Chanacops. Big Fin. He would, yeah. No. Uh, let's go this way. The shadow of the, oh my god, the shadow of the arm. The claw. <laughs> it's Rawr. menacing. Let's go for number four. Why not? All right. Yep, yep. Oh, oh, smash. Smash grab. Oh, look, we can get a little sediment coring action on the Atalanta can. Oh, that's a great shot. Yeah. Beautiful. On it. <laughs> I'm on it, too. <laughs> Please mark that as a highlight on Atalanta can. I'll try to do it off to the right so we can see it. I do have to look at it in the Zeus. That lid's about to fall off too. Oof, you see a wiggle in there? Here, okay? Yeah, let's, wherever, I mean. You don't care. As long as it works. As long as. It works. Mm. Keep it? Probably not. Nope. Yeah, it's not going to stay. No, don't keep it. 
give it another <laughs> try, and if not. Okay, I'll take it out of Atalanta's view and put it way over here, right in front of the cinema cam. Ooh. <coughs> nope. No, too sandy. Yeah. That's okay, thanks for the try. Yeah, you bet. Yeah. That's a problem with the uh, foraminiferal ooze. <laughs> Can you zoom species. in on uh, Atalanta, please? If I can use that to help me put it away. Pressure's on, Annabelle. Here we go. Oh, bouncing around a little. Oh, look at that. Ah. <laughs> full zoom on Atalanta, you don't hear that very often. Probably part of the scoop is still there. <laughs> <laughs> that pesky scoop. Okay, how do I get it in there? <laughs> What's happening? There you go. Oof. All right. There we go. Thanks for trying, Trevor. Okay, can I have ROV cam salvo, please? I think we may okay. have to head into the middle part of a GEO to get a really good one. Can I have ROV cam salvo again, please? Roger. Thank you. You can tell if it worked if all the cameras go where we expect it. Sometimes it just doesn't. Cool. Just uh, nature of the button, I guess. So what did you say made this sediment too sandy, too squishy, too... It's, it's, it's the old tests or shells of uh, plankton called Corviniferia. Mm -hmm. Okay, where are we going? What are we doing? We'll Let's keep, keep going to that next ridge, that okay. next peak. Okay. Point one north? Point one? Sure, point yeah, one's fine with me. Sa same as what we were doing. Okay, nice. Yeah. Bringing Delta back up a little? No, this is good. Oh, okay. When you're stretched out, you want to oh, be... Oh, right, right. Yeah, 12 to 15. And because what happens when you're up here with the, the currents that we do have, it's wiping away all the finer stuff that would be like mud mm -hmm. that would be easier to, to collect. But sand is really, really tough. I mean, if you ever took like a, a PVC pipe to the beach and tried to put it in the sand, it would go. I don't think as a child I was really playing with PVC <laughs> pipes in the sand, but I can imagine. Sand castle. <laughs> sand plumbing. Sand plumbing. Sand plumber. Or, or if you had a... Uh, a beach umbrella or something is really tough like to push it in you'd have yeah. to dig it out and bury it mm -hmm. i mean to overcome that what we actually use is something called a vibra core so we actually have a coring system that vibrates oh so we can kind of like that, that works its way into the center. nuzzle it in yeah do you think it's too sandy or do you think it's too shallow i think it's sandy really okay <laughs> it felt like a hard stop i don't know oh yeah i mean could be. It could be shallow, but I mean, it'd be interesting to see when we get to a geo or something, go farther in. Dave, did Adelina's cam get an upgrade or? Nope. Nope. We just nope. did a nice zoom. Yep. Sure. Conditions, you know, are, are, it's dependent on conditions because, of course, Adelina's going uh, up and down with the cable. Uh, yeah. And uh, things are pretty stable right now. I have zero beams because I'm landing. Good. So let me, let me come up and first. And Annabelle's an ace at this whole thing, too, so. Oh, shout out to Annabelle. Thank you. Look at you go.
Okay, try that. I'll sit there for a sec. Should be able to. Yeah, you should be able to go for it. <laughs> Doesn't want to. There you go. See the tornado on the starboard side of Herc? Oh, yeah. Little sand NATO. Hmm. Ooh, great view in the uh, sample cam. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. So right now, when you go thruster vortex action, when you before you set the reset, let's ch chat about it because I want to show you what it does. So let me know when you're ready. <coughs> Okay, now when you hit send reset, watch what the vehicle does. <laughs> All right, when you went away, when you hit okay, yeah. See, so you start moving yeah. backward really fast. Where we go. Yeah. So it's in hold position mode, and if you tell it your position's actually over here, then it's like, oh, I'm in the wrong position. I better get back to where I was. So not a big deal when it's only two meters, but if this was like from a previous dive, for instance, or if it was from, you know, a big, big change, you're gone. It's so I just turn off my autos. As long as I catch it, I know what happened. But that's why we had that conversation, you know, like, can I do it? Are you clear? And then we're good. Uh, time for a gauge check. Yeah. Hercules almost left like a sea squatch like Sorry? print in the sand. What if we were the Check sea all squatch the sorts of different along? things, yeah. I think we are. Oh. I mean to the fish we're probably we probably are. Aliens? What? We're a fi <laughs> we're a cryptid to the fish. Mm. Those two squat lobsters that got away are probably telling the whole town. <laughs> they are looking for another chrysogordid. <laughs> some, some safety. <laughs> they want their corals back. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. like Norella there. Little Norella? One. Yeah. And the other black yep. coral. The branching one. Are those little yellow things on that coral anemones of some kind? Yes, they are anemones. Can we get an anemone zoom, please? Can I get a front porch view, please? Roger. Thank you. Well, I didn't realize they wrapped themselves around it like they that. They wrapped totally around. That's yeah. Mm. Oh, and they're orange, not yellow. Wow. We're at 2,103 meters in depth right now, for anybody who wanted to know. <laughs> Annabelle, the people also want to know, what is gauge check? That's Gauge check is 
when we look at all the different uh, layers to see how much oil is in each thing, yeah. basically to make sure that Perk and Atalanta are all healthy and everything looks good. So I'm just looking in all the comps, the Thank compensators. You. Um, you can come wide. That's a nice bamboo coral there too with all the anemones on it. Yeah, yeah, I was problem. zoomed out there. Not, uh, not trying to stop you talking. Sorry about that. I don't know. I was just rambling. <laughs> <laughs> you gave a good is general a gauge what check. Lobster maybe is where we check the gauges. <laughs> Can we zoom in on oh, this thing? Oh, there's a squirrel lobster. Very good. It's very far away, but yeah, high five. We got it. All right, gauge check is complete. Thank you. No, maybe, yes, maybe, no. Oh, good call. Maybe. Now I see it. Now it's um, no. a furoid. Oh, oh, it is. Wrong. Uh, Not Trevor's a small lobster. Take that high five back. <laughs> <laughs> what does that sound like? <laughs> <laughs> like slurp. <laughs> it sounds like disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm familiar with that sound. Deck face has been restored. <laughs> Grew a third eye there. Let me turn these lights off. For any diehard deck face fans out there. Deck face. I don't know what that is. Oh, I know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly what you hoped it would be. Yeah, so big bamboos over here too. Yeah. I think they're bamboos. <clears throat> There's no way to know. <laughs> yeah, but if you see the, the luge run we had before, you see how there's separation here? In this whole feature, it looks like it wants to fall off to the left. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think so this is a fall. brinoid. Is it? Yes. Okay, so I was wrong. Is that a fallen Lavella? coral on the ground? Could be, yeah. I would say Narella, but uh, who knows? And But up, we can find very big colony of bamboos. Okay. Wow, look at this outcrop. Good view of rock on the cinema wow. cam. Rock view. Mm hmm Rock cam. Nice texture. That's a bamboo there. Ooh. <coughs> Look at how big that is. Yeah. Overhang. Let's 
see the yellow on there? Those wanted. Yeah, mm -hmm. same one thing here. Super low delta right now. Is that all right? You can come up. Alrighty. Wow, look at this outcrop. Wow. Like the, this the is a highlight here. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Highlight, goodness. highlight. For you, four or five, you think? Yeah, it's a four. <laughs> four point two. I can't do points. Wow, look at four this. Two. Spectacular. They're huge. Wow. These are all bamboo. I'm going to do it a five. Looks so what you say you guys call this rock as being bamboozled? Is that the... <laughs> oh, oh, in the yellow, are these so anthids? They are so anthids. Cool. Yeah. Growing on the colony. Are those... Wow, look at this thing. These are, are those black red things coral? crinoids? Is that what they're called? We got crinoids, yeah. Crinoids. Wow. Got it. They're it's like a garden. Here, Chrysogorgia as well. Wow. Look at this thing. I think we just keep going around this the whole rest of the day. Yeah. <laughs> just do a bunch of circles, wow. put a bunch of wraps yeah. on each other. It's fine. My goodness, that's gorgeous. It's uh, Gonia here. So do you, are these really old corals, you think? Because they're so big? Yes. Yeah. They should be. <laughs> Really old. They grow between, I think, one and two centimeters per year. Per year. I mean, Trevor, are you in a space place to pull another pop or another I bottle? Can, I can pop a bottle. Yeah. <laughs> That's just too rich of an area not to. Yeah, totally. Let me get back a little closer to it, and then yeah. we'll uh, make it happen. Pop goes the disc. One, two, mm -hmm. and three are open. Thank you very much. Bubble on craft. Beautiful. Oh. I'm pretty sure they'll get bamboo overwhelming this one. Pretty sure. All right. I'm going to stay right there. Niskins are right beside that. And, uh,. You can see in the Niskin cam, they're like right there. Maybe I need to be a little bit more to the right. I see the Niskin, that's yeah, right there. Satellite three. You see it? Yeah, I, I see it. I'm gonna look for it. I'll look this time. <laughs> Wait for it. Nope. Oh, there. <laughs> can I have downlight on, please? Roger. Okay, someone knows to look for a Niskin now. You know what you're doing, somebody? Hearing do nothing, I will look myself. No, do you, you want looking? bubble on Niskin? Uh, no, that's okay. Okay. Yeah. Hmm, I can't reach that way, interesting. Well, maybe I can. Oh, Paula, yep. does, so when coral grows, it grows pretty like systematically, right? Does it, like, there's a question, does coral ever get too large and too top heavy and fall over? Mm, I don't think so. Yeah. They, they grow 
grow also depending on the currents and yeah. the available, available food. Mm -hmm. So in case, just in case some currents are really strong or there is some hurricane, they can fall or they can grow. But yeah. You're not Rob. Good. There's Michael, yep. cruising the winch. Can you see which one's future winch? Yes. <laughs> it's so obvious when it's people, more so than the winch movement. Very funny. There was another spindly thing that I didn't like in the Atalanta cam. But it Are you away. sure it wasn't the tether? I'm pretty sure. It wasn't the ten tether. So folks at home, we are about to do a watch change. So bear with us for a few minutes as we change people. It was nice letting you listen to me. It's nice knowing you. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll be Thank back. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Amazing job.
Hello, everyone out there listening. We're just uh, doing a little watch change, and we'll be with you in a few minutes. I am not Leela, but I am your watch leader. You are our watch leader. <laughs> uh, how's everyone doing? Settling in? Good. 12 to 4? Doing great. All right. Roger that. Do we want to get started with introductions? Let's, this is the 12 to 4. Uh, let me figure out the. Uh, Take where, a minute. Where we need the ship to go first. Okay, let me know wanna... when we're ready. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Nav. Um, Lynette, how are we doing? Holding station? Uh, we are just putting in a hold position right now. Okay. Yep. Uh, so the plan is to move to waypoint 6B. Pretty easy. So cool. let's go s start slow and uh, get our bearings. And okay. Did uh, uh, the last watch get a good look at all this stuff around here? Is some big yeah, they got, yeah, they got. Yeah, they did a pretty good job. Okay, at, at awesome. The here. Then yep. we'll continue on. Yep. <clears throat> all right, thanks. Thanks, Ashley. Not a problem. And this is Ashley Glickley, Science Communication Fellow and Teacher from Louisville, Kentucky. And we are beginning our watch on a small isolated peaked seamount southeast of Johnston Atoll. Um, this is our second of the watches on this dive, which was a total of 20 hours approximately. And we started at 2,778 meters and are currently at 2,103. The chat is open if you have any questions or would like to um, discuss anything with us, please feel free to submit your questions on nautiluslive.org. We also have Spanish speakers and Portuguese speakers here, so si tienen preguntas en español y quieren um, poner las preguntas ahí en el chat, you, we are welcoming that as well. We're going to give it just a minute and do some more introductions. Dwight, did you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> sure, yeah, we're still doing a little bit of training back here in the back row, but I'm sort of ready to go. Uh, my name is Dwight Coleman. I am the, uh, I'm sharing the watch leader uh, duty for the 12 to 4 watch with uh, Leela Bellucci. It's okay. We're and still uh, I'll feet. tend to kind of do the day shift and she'll do the night shift, but uh, we just uh, yeah, sort of forward. trade off. Uh, I'm from the University of Rhode Island. Graduate School of Oceanography, and also the expedition leader on this cruise. Jane? Good afternoon. My name is Jane Carrick. I'm also from the University of Rhode Island. I'm a PhD student there studying uh, biological oceanography of deep sea corals. And uh, my role on these dives is as data logger, so I will be the one taking notes, trying to get uh, all the spellings on all of the <laughs> the various corals and sponges correct as much as possible. Thank you, Jane. And we're going to go up here to the front. Panos, did you want to get started with the introductions in the front? Yes, my name is Panos Lurotos. I'm the video engineer and I'm uh, helping Hercules Eyes to zoom and focus. <laughs> Pilots, if you all are in a good spot to introduce yourself, go ahead and take it away. I don't think we could hear you. Good afternoon. Now that I'm on SPL, uh, my name is Michael Valle. I am the uh, Atalanta pilot slash co-pilot to Hurt. Uh, I do all the things that James doesn't want to do mm -hmm. uh, when he can't when he's busy doing other things. We only have two arms, so yeah. 
Good afternoon, everybody. My name is James Barnett. I'm the Herc pilot for the 12 to 4 watch. Uh, We've got our navigator up front that's working on something else right now. So whenever she's ready, she can introduce herself. Hey, everybody. I'm Lynette. I'm the navigator. Um, I tell the ship where to go, mm -hmm. when to stop. All very important things. <laughs> <laughs> and this is our first watch from this expedition actually during the day. So it is not midnight. So that's something to celebrate. You know, if we total everything up, we'll get a full, full watch worth of bottom time. If we add them up, you know. Over, yeah, over two watches. Over two watches, we got one full watch of bottom time. I think we're going to be descending here. Oh, sorry. I see you're close to the. Yeah, you got it. Merit. Well, they haven't said anything, so I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> Since we're not seeing anything interesting, I'm going to go ahead and switch over the thing because I don't want to have to look up too big, too much. Yeah, sorry, front row. I'm still getting sort of situated back here in the back row. Uh, if you see something interesting to look at or zoom in on, please do. Okay. Uh, I'll be with you in a sec. Look at that sponge. What's this? I see sponge. Sure, do you want to take a look? I'll come down. Yeah, please. Is that a shrimp back there for the shrimp count? Is oh. a shrimp? Where's the shrimp? Swam away. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, we right are still working on our shrimp count. We're yeah. at 22. You can zoom in, Panos, if you want. 22, really? Yeah, as nice. of midnight, we have seen 22 shrimp. It's a nice sea sponge. And we do have one last introduction to do. We have Haisa back here in the back row, our, our scientist aboard. And she was getting all set up when we did our introduction. So I'll let her introduce herself. a little bright. Does it seem bright? Hi everyone. Uh, I'm Heise Hogan. I am sorry. Hi everyone. I am Heise Hogan. I'm a oceanographer. Uh, I'm here as a member of the Ocean Census Network. And um, I am interested in sea pens and black corals and I'm going to take the opportunity to also to say hi in Portuguese for all the Portuguese speakers so salve 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 a todo mundo do, que fala português principalmente pessoal do Brasil aqui é a Raíssa Hogan eu sou oceanóloga é, eu tô é, parte do, do time de, das, de cientistas e meu trabalho aqui é principalmente identificação de corais é, mais é, plumas do mar e corais negros 